A new focus on safety, the tragic deaths of four college students on PCH last month has pushed Malibu and the CHP now to take action. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen maps out the changes that are coming. This 21-mile stretch of road in Malibu is known for its scenic beauty, but PCH is also becoming increasingly dangerous. It's definitely a place a lot of people speed. Over the last 10 years, Malibu city officials say there's been more than 4,000 traffic crashes and more than 100,000 traffic citations issued. But after the tragic deaths of four Pepperdine students last month, there's been a greater push to stop it. It just got the attention all the way up to the top. And it's unfortunate that it takes something really tragic like that to make it happen. One of the immediate changes are California Highway Patrol officers now helping Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies with traffic enforcement. This is what they do. This is what their, their mission is. They are trained specifically for traffic enforcement. For now, there is not a set schedule for the officers, but in January, the city says there will be a task force dedicated seven days a week. This is the first time there are now regular CHP patrols in Malibu since the city was incorporated in 1991. We've had officers out there. Some have had, uh, uh, unfortunately, really good success at writing tickets. Uh, a lot of people uh, treating it as a speedway. Uh, I know one of our officers got over 20 tickets in one shift. While deputies might get called away to handle other calls, CHP officers won't. Something people who live here say is assuring. I think this is great. I think we really need it. It was uh, very unfortunate what happened. CHP patrols are just one part of making PCH safer. Starting next week, the city will begin its traffic signal project. It's a big project that will allow Caltrans to control the traffic signals in real time to reduce speed and congestion. Reporting in Malibu, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.